put a motor on your boat and you're in for an exhilarating and sometimes bouncy ride along the coast under these cliffs over to the Calf of Man. The small isle of 616 acres is a nature reserve and there are strict regulations about what you can do there. This is the sound between the mainland of Man and the Calf. There are very strong currents at certain states of the tide and it's not a good idea to try and swim across. No, instead, take a boat. This is South Harbour, which is the principal landing stage on the southeastern corner. This is where lighthouse keepers and their stores were landed. Just south of that harbour is a large rock called the Burrow, from a Scandinavian word meaning a small round hill. It's more commonly known as the Drinking Dragon, because it looks like a great dragon dipping its head into the water. The Chicken Rock Lighthouse was completed in 1874, with its light operating for the first time on January the 1st, 1875. Its job was to warn shipping of the dangerous reef it guarded. The Board of Trade had written to Trinity House saying, the night light on the Calf of Man is now so often enveloped in fog and so rendered useless to be removed to the Chicken Rock, which is a mile and a half out and is a rock of considerable size and great danger. It was an enormous undertaking, with the stone being shipped out when the tide and sea conditions made that possible. There are four lighthouses on and just off the calf. The two older towers were designed to work in conjunction with each other. In 1794, a Mr. Kolkahoon suggested a double light so it could be easily distinguished from that of the Skerries. This idea was adopted and the two lights aligned so that when they appeared, one above the other, then the chicken's rock was in line between any vessel and the cliff. The two leading lights were designed by Robert Stevenson in 1816 and the station established in 1818. It comprised two towers 560 feet apart, a line to indicate the safe course past the dangerous chicken rock. The two lanterns were 375 feet and 282 feet above sea level and held double revolving and leading lights without colour. The station consisted of two circular stone towers with lightkeepers accommodation and was built within 10 months once the Duke of Athol had agreed after much delay to rent the land. They were discontinued in 1875 when the Chicken Rock Light was established.